So I pull up at the rehab center and it's a very friendly environment, I should say. Um, I could tell that they recognized me. I could tell that deep inside they're even a little excited, but they're still maintaining a certain level of professionalism. I respect that. Do you do the sessions, the two of you? I feel intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we? We do it to do. Oh, usually do it like, like yes, this? Yes, yes. Oh, OK. Um, sometimes I just find myself feeling really low. Um, or sad for no apparent reason. Okay. For how long have you been feeling this way? Maybe the last two months. Okay. Yes. Especially when um, I get home and the day has slowed down, everything is quiet down. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Has this been a problem the way you've been feeling? I don't even know if it's depression or whatever or. I, all I know is um, every now and then, maybe now more than ever, frequently I would feel like that. The only other uh, feeling that I would equate it to is basically sometimes I think when I'm broke, that's the only way that, the only time I really feel low, like almost sick. As we talk, um, it's, very informal, which I like. It's not like your usual textbook therapy. It's really just very social, very um, cardial. And I like it. I think so far it's going very well. You've got a milder case of depression. OK. Yes, so we call that dysthymia. Yes, mm -hmm. so based on what you've told us, you've had this feeling for a longer period of time, but it has just been consistent for two weeks, I mean, for two months. Mm -hmm. So it's dysthymia, and then we'll rule out major depressive disorder, but the symptoms you have are just milder symptoms of depression. Mm -hmm. And then we'll give you an antidepressant. This will help you with that kind of uh, feeling, just to help it move away. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we'll give you something to help you improve your appetite so that your diet is back to normal. That will be part of medical. And then we'll be doing these reviews after two weeks, then after one month. I just feel like if you're going through some mental stuff, you shouldn't really look down on yourself because I feel like you've come from far. And I know you need this trip, but I need you to understand <laughs> that the reason why I ended up agreeing to marry you and staying with you is because I saw greatness in you before you saw it. So you shouldn't let people No, I saw it, doctor. No, you didn't. Oh. Okay, maybe you did, you saw it, right? <sighs> so that shouldn't change even now. You shouldn't look down on yourself because you feel like something, you know what I mean? Okay. If someone is okay. making you feel like... Wait, no. Do you, do you I, think this is a confidence problem? I feel like you are taking a lot of negative backlash and you're actually uh, agreeing to it somehow. I just want you to know that me, I didn't marry you. <laughs> but when I married you, I knew what I was doing. And I need you to understand that. Because if you don't understand it, then I made a very wrong decision getting married to you. Because me, I married a great person. You understand? 